we ready guys real quick look what showed up y'all see that big old m yes no car no car alternator y'all remember that charger i checked out last week had the this pulley was coming apart off of the alternator was making a lot of noise well they approved it and they want more part they want the best they should never have to replace this alternator again now i got my jump box right here go figure mopar no car jump box all right guys i'm out here at the car i got my jump box box on only 1.9 all right guys i got it all hooked up let me turn this on and we're gonna start it i might have to work quick guys because i want to get this in before that alternator decide to come apart let's get it whoa whoa look at that thing yeah, buddy. That look like a Dermot alternator. What y'all think? We got to get this thing replaced. Put on a nice, good Mopar, no car. Oh, yeah. Alrighty guys real quick y'all saw those symptoms y'all saw this vehicle running and it wasn't charging okay now that is symptoms of a bad alternator guys now there is a test you run to make sure your alternator is not putting out but if you look at that pulley right there you can see that pulley is slowly coming apart and it's affecting the internals of the alternator all right now replacing this alternator that's no big task no big secret however i want to highlight the importance of the parts that you choose to replace it with. Y'all see this? This is a Mopar, guys. Yeah, see that big old M? Yeah, we don't use Dermot parts over here. Uh, so I highly recommend you go in with a high quality part such as this. Once I get this on, I should be back up to specs. I should be charging. I got my jump box right here. I'm gonna take all of this off, disconnect the battery, get this alternator replaced. We should be back to square one. So again, be mindful of the parts that you choose to put on your car. This is no top secret car. What is this? Dodge Charger, 180,000 miles. So there's no secret. All right, there's no big shocker that the alternator failed. It happens, guys. Parts fail, okay? So what's the big shocker is the deciding part that you choose to put on your car. <laughs> choose wisely, guys. I'm JT the Car Guy. Follow me for more, man. I got a whole lot of more videos coming out. I need y'all to stay tuned. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and do a long video. I was reading the comments, and some of my newbies, my DIYers, want to see this job done. Now, guys, um, because you are DIYers and DIYers and newbies, chances are you don't have access to a lift, meaning you can let the car in, up in the air. I, however, do, but because I'm doing this for you guys. I'm gonna do this on the ground. I'm not gonna even put it up in the air just to show you the different options you have at your disposal as far as doing it on the ground. Yes, it can be done on the ground. It's easier to do it in the air, but only thing about this uh, on the ground, you just have to remove a few things, which I'm sure you don't mind. After, oh, you're a DIY guy, right? The thing with this one is, uh, okay, let me start from the beginning. This is a 2015 maybe. Dodge Charger, okay, Dodge Challenger, it applies to anything with a 3.6 in it that's a front wheel drive car that is, all right, they're all going to be similar, the alternator is going to always be right here, all right, and we already spoke about the importance of choosing a good replacement alternator, all right, we already also spoke about this pulley and how it looked and the reason why we're replacing it, it's not putting out, we saw the voltage, yes, that's not a very good accurate way to check, but the pulley is affecting the internals of the alternator so we're going by that all right now uh first thing first we got to get the electricity wiped away from this car guys we don't need no free electrons traveling through this car while we work on it <laughs> especially things like the alternator or starter or anything like that so look what i got here yeah i trusted makita let's go back here and get this damn battery off since this is a long video I have time to chit chat with you guys all right we already spoke about the importance of having a jump box in your car as well so if you don't have one damn it go get one fellas especially if your girl or your children your daughter drive please make sure she have a jump box in her car and teach her how to use it okay yeah so i'm just taking the battery power uh, either way guys, I know a lot of guys are picky. I choose the ground because it's right there in front of me So I got that removed now. It's safe Hear me what I say It's safe to start work on this car as far as electronics in other words uh, As far as replacing this alternator it's now safe to do all right, let's get Alrighty, it guys Remember we're doing this on the ground. So in order to gain access to this alternator I start by taking the upper radiator hose off. Okay. I just got it up. You're gonna lose some coolant So make sure you got a drain bucket under there I just got the upper radiator hose off and I'm gonna lay it to the side like that. All right, again, you're gonna lose some coolant, but now you got 
a straight shot to the alternator. Now, for some of you guys that are looking for even more room, simply take the fan out. It's only two screws holding it in. Just pick it up and it comes straight out. All right. Uh, will I have to do it? You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Two screws, guys. One right here and one right there. Let me get the rest of this air clean off, guys. We want to make it as easy as possible. Okay. Stay tuned. see that whoa holy crap man this thing could have fell off on this guy he could have had an accident do y'all see that only thing was holding this pulley on was the grooves in his belt wow what a lucky guy <laughs> all right guys let's get this damn thing out now that we got this far we had the alternator first thing i want to do now is to remove the big battery terminal right here first the connector as well as connector right here and a 13 millimeter bolt right here holding that uh heavy gauge wire on all right and that's down there so it's gonna be hard to see so you just gotta finagle for it let's get it all right guys so there's that boat you're trying to get to down there let me take y'all fishing dumpster diving see that right there that's what we're trying to get to all right let's get it depending on what kind of fancy tool you got 13 millimeters should get down there and get it all right, I broke it free. Now let's get that sucker off. All righty, guys, we're almost there. Now, as you can see, I got three holes in this alternator. One, two, three. So that means three bolts gonna be holding the alternator to the block. I already took the bottom one out, guys. Now, because you got a little room, if you got a nice small electric ratchet, guys, you can easily get down there. Yeah, see how simple that is? Oh, that alternator about to fall. Let's get this alternator out, guys. All right, guys. One thing I want to... Uh, all right, guys. One thing I want to mention. Be careful of that radiator, okay? If you barely hit that radiator, it'll start pissing on you and leaking. Yeah, we got it out, guys. Yeah, this thing is froze up. Here's what happened. It don't matter anymore. Okay, we're not going to dwell on the past. We're going to concentrate on the future, guys. So Mopar, no par. You should never have this problem again with this Mopar high-quality OEM, baby. I don't know who make it, but Mopar name on it. That's all that matters. That's all I care about. It's not Dermot. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Guys, I'm done with this video. Appreciate you watching, man. The DIYers, you damn uh, do-it-yourselfers, you uh, mobile mechanics, you know, whoever... Got some assistance out of this. I appreciate you tuning in, guys. I got to go. Thanks for watching.